Welcome to Scrambled Brains. Wow, 120. Even. Yeah. In 121, uh, the Green Goblin's going to kill uh, Will. It's, uh, kill what? It's going to kill you. We don't, we don't have a bridge high enough. To <laughs> <laughs> well, we got to get a bridge. Him off. Yeah. Wait, uh, who's, ba- who's super uh, Spider-Man? Spi- who's, is some, wait, am I Gwen Stacy? Yeah, Stacey. you're Gwen yeah, you'd be Gwen Stacy. So technically, Spider-Man kills you. Yeah, so who, <laughs> which, which, are you one of you going to? I don't know. Do you want to be Norman Osborn or yeah. shoot, shoot the web at me? I'm I'm old. I can't heft this ass up. <laughs> Fine, I'll be Spider-Man. Oh, well, thanks a lot, Hey, Will, man. look over the side there. Yeah. <laughs> you got a goblin yeah. glider. Don't worry okay, about so it. You're the goblin. <laughs> Welcome to Scramble Brains Wordcast. I'm Matt Clemens. I'm um, Nikki Bell. And I'm Will Ryan Jr. And this is episode 120. Yay! Yay! Like I don't so can't many think of anything. Wonderful think 120s wonderful before. One, yeah. I would rather be at 420. That would be great. Oh. We'll get there. <laughs> Maybe. Take a few years, but we will get there. Yeah. <laughs> We're but going to Scramble unless, Brains Wordcast hey. episode 420. Unless we pull a comic, you know, and go back to number one. No, oh, yeah, we'll have to do that. <laughs> I got a foot bag times. if you want to kick it around a little bit. Wait, Woo-hoo. what? What do we got a foot bag? No, I'm <laughs> no. not a hippie. No. <laughs> How old is that thing? <laughs> It's actually not that old. It just I have it in my pocket at all times. I'm so not a so hippie. Good. It's not 1998. <laughs> I did not just smoke God. a doobie, Takes and I did not just to... listen to the new Everclear album. So no, let's, yeah, let's, I was gonna let's, say the guy's playing hacky sack outside the comic <laughs> shop on this trip. <laughs> <laughs> Shit. Okay. Uh, did we make fun of you enough for your? <laughs> It's a great sport. <laughs> That's how it's good to start yeah. the episode. Let's just rip one of our own apart. <laughs> Should have been an Olympic sport by now. Yeah. Have you guys ever seen? There is, like, in Indonesia or something, they play a game. I don't know if they use, like, I think they use an, an actual ball, but it's like badminton, but they kick the ball over the net instead okay, of using that, racket. I have not stuff. seen. It's pretty Wait, amazing. What? I saw it on, like, at, like, you know, 4 o'clock in the morning on one of those, like, ESPN3 <laughs> or whatever. <clears throat> ESPN8, the Ocho. Right. <laughs> like, yeah. from Dutch. It was amazing. We actually did do that one time. We set up at the mm-hmm. tennis court in at the the city park in Camdenton. We set up a badminton net one time <laughs> and tried it. But it was, there were only three of us, yeah. so it kind of sucked. <laughs> but we could wait. Do it. So like, we got that means two of you were on yeah, one, one side. Yes, yeah, yeah. It was two against one. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I think you needed more players. I know, right, just a uh, right. just a. Uh, well, you know, you could probably imagine how hard it is to get people to come play that with us. Yeah. Yep. Well, did well. You know what? You had some like you know, some Zimas and some <laughs> weed. I'm sure you could have got it. A lot of people yeah. show up. <laughs> well, and actually, it was like eight o'clock now. in the morning too. So like, oh gosh, you aren't gonna get any stoners. So out wait, there. what? What time was it? It was. It was. Yeah, eight, it was early in the eight morning. Eight o'clock I don't in the morning. morning. What the hell was yeah, you doing up at eight o'clock place? in the morning? I don't know. No. And it was like on a Saturday. And it's like a pre-planned. That that's, people who get up and it, jog or play basketball mm-hmm. do that. People yeah, who are no, going to kick sure. a hacky sack around ain't going to get up at eight a.m. <laughs> hey, we're intense. We're you know we're the real deal. Extreme, <laughs> <laughs> say so. <laughs> or we were. That was like I don't know six years ago or something. Oh, you're getting all sentimental about six years ago. Yeah, back when I was a young there was man. A gr- there was a girl in, that came in today mm-hmm. who's 19 years old. Okay, I remember when she was a baby. Yes, <laughs> yes. Wait, did you know her when she was a baby? Yes! Oh. See, it's not my age that makes me feel old. It's everybody else's age. Yeah, and she's <laughs> like <laughs> fucking 19. And I'm like, what the fuck? <laughs> You're totally bangable now. Like, oh, no, no, <laughs> no, no, no. Was she asking well, it's not for, like, like you thought that night. You, you know, I'm waiting for you to turn I'm not. No, I didn't even think about that now, so let's not even go there. <laughs> okay. Now, there was another 19-year-old girl. <laughs> yeah, I, I didn't know her as a baby, so it was totally No, cool. I didn't know her as a baby, so that's fine. It's totally, <laughs> totally fine. Totally cool. Oh, real quick, since we're on that subject. <laughs> oh, oh, yeah. Okay. I should have wrote it down. What a segue. <laughs> yeah. There was, uh, I guess it's one of those, you know, you're a famous athlete, and you get blackmailed. You know, mm-hmm. oh, you screwed me. I'll tell your wife. Give me money. Well, apparently this hockey player, yeah, this, this 18-year-old that. model, 18, totally legal, took a picture of her and him. He's asleep. They're in bed, you know, whatever. And her or an associate threatened to release it on the Internet. And he's like, 
okay. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> I don't. I'm a forty-something-year-old man. I just banged an eighteen-year-old. Yeah, oh, tell no. everybody. No, I can right. get an eighteen-year-old model. <laughs> oh, my life is so I horrible. I saw that. It was like Datsuk. I think. He, yeah. He was a a Red Wings player. Yeah. yeah or Yummer. And, and apparently, what happened was it kind of backfired on her because her boyfriend's a hockey player. Now he's dumping her. <laughs> <laughs> Wait a minute. Ah, uh, hockey players. So they really are the best of us. <laughs> Uh, yeah, Ronda that, Rousey. That a little sarcasm with that one because uh, uh, Ronda no, Rousey is still doing her boohoo tour. Oh, apparently really? she. Oh yeah, apparently she. You know, thought about suicide. She lost a well, match because she lost. She lost one match, and instead of saying I'm gonna train twice as hard and come back and kick her ass, she's like I locked myself in my house and I thought about committing suicide. See, now I, I thought really? Ronda Rousey was, was really tough. Where did she it, talk about? Was that like on? Oh yeah, it's Oprah been the last couple. Yeah, on Ellen, I know, think. Now it just oh. turns out that she's a gigantic pussy. Yeah. Well, you know what? Maybe her, maybe her ass should have been in the gym training instead of being on all these movies and commercials and. Yeah, I saw she's in some new commercial with Seth, Seth Rogen and. Somebody like she's on the red carpet. Oh, it was another like, Budweiser. I think no, she's like security was? or something like that for him. <clears throat> right. It's, it's the Bud Party or the Budweiser oh. Party. I yeah. Don't, you know, I've not seen any of those. Yeah. I, oh. I think I saw that. It was a, I saw it on the internet. It was like yeah. a clip. I don't know. Yeah. Sure. But she does want to play uh, Samus or. Uh, Samus. Oh, yeah. And, uh, Samus. Yeah. yeah oh, from the, Metroid. Metroid. Yeah. yeah movie, so. I'm down. I, I vote. I vote. I'm Team Rhonda on that one. Now, she does know there's an arc to the character, so there will be a point when she's going to lose. Yeah, that's the And you the can't problem. quit. You have to fight your way back because that's usually the hero's journey. Another I'm just saying, that that's pretty typical of superhero movies. Can Mr. T come out of retirement to train with her? <laughs> there you the go. Third oh, Clubber Lane. We actually made it Mr. T or no, Clubber Lane the reference. Fifth. Oh, gosh. Um, Which one was he training? Was that the fourth or fifth? Because they fought each other in the third. Yeah, it was the third. No, okay, wait. It, oh, Clubber Lane never came back. No, Mr. Yeah, Lane never yeah. no, came that's back. That's Apollo 3. You're, you're thinking Apollo yeah. and 4. When they were, like, running on the beach and then, like, Yeah, well, yeah, he trained surf. him for uh, Clubber Lane. Yeah, oh, okay, that's what it was. Okay. Yeah, because Rocky, Rocky 1, it was a draw. Rocky 2, he won against Apollo. Dead meat, Rocky, sucker. Yeah, Rocky 3. All right. Prediction? Right. Pain. Pain. <laughs> That's the great thing about eighties movies. Oh, I it's love the it. One liners and the catchphrases. I know, and then Rocky Four, I must break you. He's <laughs> not a man. He's a iron. Um Did we talk about kindergarten cop two? Oh God, no. Uh, Please let's not. <laughs> Yeah, no. Dolph you know what I love about that trailer? Try to I have not it. seen it. The trailer. Okay, okay. The trailer is a trailer is cr it's a, for a movie that shouldn't be made, <laughs> but it's like Dolph Lundgren is Kindergarten Cop Two. Yeah, it's like it's, they made the trailer in the nineties. I know, right? <laughs> and just released it. It's crazy. He's a man who has is on a mission. Hey, I'm on a I'm a man on a mission. <laughs> So is this, is this, I mean, is it a joke trailer? I no, it's, no, real it's real. Apparently. Okay, so they're definitely playing this up for slapsticky humor. I don't know. I'm they hoping. Seem, I think they're serious. I don't know. It. because I mean, it's a comedy uh, movie. But, but who but, yeah. would do that if you were serious? It's like, and one of these kids has got a flash drive. <laughs> Ooh. And then it's like, and then my I have two mommies, and they told me I should hate all boys or some bullshit like that. It was like the fucking most retarded thing I've ever oh, seen. Oh yeah, I think it's straight to video. I'm pretty sure. Um, yeah, I'm hoping because I don't see any. I don't. I don't, I don't know, know how it got made. More or less. I don't know how video. it got made either. Because should they're be like straight to I, the internet like, release. I'm sure there's just sitting around the boardroom, and it's like, remember Kindergarten Cop? <laughs> yeah. We ever make a sequel of that? <laughs> Who can we get cheap? I don't think we did. <laughs> just got to be big with like a really shitty accent. And <laughs> well, the '90s stuff—that's that's big right now. The X Files is back. Maybe we should bring back Kindergarten Ooh, Cop. Yeah, yeah. But other uh, celebrity uh, boohoo news. Uh -huh. We talked last week about Kanye West, Kanye. you know, being fifty-three million in personal debt. I don't he, think he understands what that means. Fifty percent more influential than any artist. <laughs> oh in yeah. History. Now see, Stanley I actually Kubrick. watched. Yeah. I, I watched a. Vi there was Picasso? one guy did a video <laughs> talking about uh, uh, Kanye's clothing line, uh. and he's like, "I've seen homeless people." Wear nicer clothes. Technically, Conley's, I'm a god, and whatever I put my name on, you mm. should pay. He's like, you're wanting $1,000 for a shirt that looks like a hobo wiped his ass on it. 
But to add insult to injury, uh, you did talk about how he had started his own streaming. Yeah. Called yeah, Title. Title. Right. Now, when you say title, I think, was it T I T L? Like a title of a book. Right. No, it's title like in Tidal Wave, right. is how it's spelled. Yeah. Oh, what a pretentious prick. Now, <laughs> it's. Uh, there's two subscription services, you know, the 9.99 or the 19.99. He was going to release it only on that service. Hmm. Apparently, if the source is correct, his new album has been illegally downloaded 500,000 times. <laughs> they shouldn't even do that. People, so that is as, as, you know what, people, as a whole, we need to. Make this guy go away. And if you continue to pay attention to him, it's like a fucking fairy in Peter Pan. If you don't clap, they fucking die. If you don't believe in a fairy, it dies. If you don't believe in Kanye West, it will die. Just don't believe in Kanye West and he will go away. Or Freddy Krueger also, right? In the first one. I guess. I don't know exactly the rules with Freddy Krueger. Or, Or you just can't be afraid of him, maybe. But... Now, if we remember, he did go on Twitter and ask my, Mark Zuckerberg for a billion dollars. Please invest a bill. A, uh, I guess Does that of, work? Can I just do that? Because well, I sure up. could use it. You could ask. One of the, uh, I guess, program designers or whatever from Facebook come on and said, Hey, next time you ask the creator of Facebook for a billion dollars, don't do it on Twitter. Yeah, <laughs> yeah Facebook. <laughs> Think that one through, Kanye. Yeah, I don't think Kanye thinks anything. No, no. <laughs> he, he expects, he says something, and then people give him what he asks for. Yeah. Because it has happened genius. so often that now he actually expects that that is what will happen. <laughs> he could say, motherfucker, I want the moon right here in my backyard right now. And he expected somebody to go up there and get the moon and bring it oh. down for him. That and would like be disastrous, said, Kanye. Don't do that. Kanye, I don't care. I am the most influential person in like the next 1,000 years. We Just need because that for our tides and our gravity would be thrown off if we had the moon on the surface you know, of the earth. You know, there was another man who thought he was going to be influential for 1,000 years, and his name was motherfucking Adolf Hitler. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh, we now found out he had like w- one testicle and a micro penis, according to the new, according to researchers. That's why he's so today. angry. Hitler or Kanye? <laughs> Six of one, half dozen of the other. You know what? This is going to be the one podcast where it's like, hey, Kanye West here. That's my name. I'm going to listen to this podcast. Oh, those motherfuckers saying bad stuff about me. I'm a old white man. I don't I don't have a micro penis. I was my asking penis is a question. huge. It's 500 not, times bigger than any else's penis. Kanye, I'm not suggesting that you have a micro penis. <laughs> I, that that's what guys. you said. You said I had a micro penis and one ball. I have three balls. I have more balls than any other man that ever lived. Huge. <laughs> um, real quick, uh, Marvel news. More balls. Uh, <laughs> Deadpool's already uh, looks like it's going to hit over five hundred million in three weeks. Wow. It's going. It's going to be the biggest R movie of all Shit. time. Hmm. Uh, they're they're already uh, they've already come out and said you know apparently the the studios wanting to just throw money at them to make a sequel and they're like we did great with the small budget yeah no it was yeah. nice small personal that's what we want to do it's so amazing that these filmmakers makers get everything that the studio does not I mean yeah. it's- um, because understand if they got a big budget to do it. unlimited what they want, they don't have to come up with those creative things that right. made that work so well. Yeah. Uh, s- apparently, Stan Lee came out and said the only complaint he had about his cameo in Deadpool was it was an in and out gig. He should have uh. spent more time in the strip club. <laughs> in and out of chastity, <laughs> the stripper. Am I right? No. No. When Whoa. I heard that, oh, I said I, I I was surprised he didn't try to work in stripper stripperella somehow. Oh yeah, I remember that. Like when that. he introduced, when he introduced, it's like I don't even know what her like her real name was in the show. I don't either. It said the next up, you know, introduced. It was Stripper. Pamela Anderson. Doing oh yeah, the voice. she was doing the voice. Stripperella. It was a cartoon. It was an adult cartoon on Spike TV. Oh. And it was made by <laughs> dirty old man <laughs> Stanley. <laughs> yeah, she was a stripper during not at night, and then like a secret agent during the day or mm. something like that. Yeah, Stripperella. Yeah. You guys familiar with Zombie Tramp? Do you ever get that? Part yeah, back? I, I have isn't seen. It? Yeah, yeah. yeah. And, I haven't uh, checked it out. I haven't it's checked intended. it out because you know, well, it? it's always got a topless variant cover. Yeah, right. Because <laughs> you want your zombie yeah, tramp. Yeah, no, that's. Topless. A, I don't know what you're talking about. I have never seen this. The one with the topless variant covers that come <laughs> hey, out every I know single what month. He's talking yeah, about. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I have no idea. But honey, I've got to get the variants <laughs> to complete the oh, collection. Right. This is collectible. <laughs> So. Oh, I got breaking news. Oh, hold up. Oh. I don't know if this oh. is. Oh. Have you seen that? Uh, pop Locket? 
<laughs> I know, right? <laughs> okay, real quick. I can now, see. Now, I do, real quick, this does tie We're talking in. about it. We're talking about Deadpool real quick. For, what, two weeks before the movie, they did this whole campaign. Don't take your kids to yeah. see the, you mm. are a bad parent. Then apparently... Uh, Ryan Reynolds took like a twelve-year-old cancer patient oh, <laughs> to go yeah. see. I'm not. I don't but know. But he if was it, Canadian, so yeah. I don't know if it was a you know a, a censored or a cut up a certain way. I somehow doubt so, it. So so and and what I was even meant- even Star Wars? Star Wars. They allowed. Remember that guy that was dying of cancer. He wanted yep, right. to see Star Wars before he died. <clears throat> now what's your yeah, story? Yeah, yeah. You know how? Well, okay. Marvel. They let dying cancer people see their movies. <laughs> Star Wars, they let dying cancer people see their movies. Apparently, that's not good enough for DC. DC is refusing to show dying cancer patients Batman v Superman. Oh. But the thing is that at some point, then all of a sudden, everyone's going to have cancer. I've got cancer. Yeah, I know, but no. still. Yeah, yeah. yeah, I need to go see this the movie only a month have, before everybody have else. The only people who have worse PR now is the poultry company who are poisoning the rodents to keep them away from their poultry fat plant that then nine bald eagles ate the poisoned rats <laughs> and they died. This company killed nine bald eagles, no. the symbol of America. <laughs> no, I didn't hear the about eagles that killed the eagles. <laughs> no, actually, the, the rats killed no, the eagles, yes, but the but... people killed the rats. Or were killing the rats. All right, the um, point... What we need to get back is, to is, is Warner is Brothers the Batman versus Superman is so bad that they're afraid it's going to kill. Yeah, they want somebody to die, kill them. Yeah. If, they have, if they see it and die tomorrow, we'll be blamed. They'll right. say the movie's uh, so bad. Uh, Affleck's acting, <laughs> Cavill killing people, <laughs> cancer, will to live. So they had less. They had less. They had less than a week to dead. live, and they shot themselves halfway through the movie because <laughs> they couldn't take it no more. I can't wait to die. Well, someone said uh, uh, computer models or whatever said that there's a 32 percent chance that this will make money. Yeah, <laughs> it's going to lose money. That. But uh, Justice League is supposed to start filming April 11th. So. And since we're on DC, <laughs> they're like, we can't, we can't not do this. We have to do this, even though, <laughs> even if it's going to lose so much money. Since we're, did ta- you guys see the producers that old Mel Brooks? Uh, yeah. Well, and then they remade like, it. Oh like yeah, no, I've like seen both. A, yeah, yeah, decade or two. You remember ago, the concept yeah. there? The concept right? was the, they would make a flop because they could make more money off a flop than a hit. <laughs> How and do they make more money? Springtime for Hitler was the name yes. of those. Okay, <laughs> I do recall. Call back. But, uh, uh, that's a good movie. Since we're talking yeah. uh, horrible DC decisions, mm-hmm. uh, in a couple by summer they're doing what's called Rebirth in DC Comics. Uh, Green Lantern did Rebirth, brought back Hal Jordan. Uh, the Flash did Rebirth, re- brought back Barry Allen. Uh, restarting all their titles again with number ones. Now the sad thing is, when they started the new Fifty Two, there was fifty two titles. Mm-hmm. That was the gimmick. Yeah. Every time they'd cancel a title, they'd start a new title up. A year or two later, they decide we're not doing that anymore because they couldn't get fifty. Because I can't, we can't. Yeah, we can't keep fifty-two. Mm. So every original title that was relaunched for the new fifty-two is getting a number one. That's Again. that's eleven titles. Only eleven mm. of them still in print. Mm. Okay, except for get this shit. <laughs> Action comics and detective comics are going back to their original numbering. You don't get because to do that. because they're getting close to a thousand. No, right, no, 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 right. no. This. No, if you <laughs> want to go back to number one, you have to start over. If you want to get the sales for number one, you give up the legacy of having a thousand comics. Yeah. You you know when you get to celebrate having a thousand comics? When you get back from number one back up to a thousand. Mm, yeah. In like a hundred years. The That's new when you 52 get to do happened right after Action Comics had 900. So mm. there is no 901 to 956, mm. but they're going to have a 957. Yeah. <laughs> I, the, I, you don't get that. S- well, maybe are they going to jump back to the continuity at 956? That no, I, I very much doubt it. They're That's not- like going like, I'm married, but I still want to fuck 19-year-old girls. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Ah. Well, I'll just do it and say it's not cheating. But, there we go. <laughs> or no, or no, what they're going to do is, oh, we're going to go back so we can hit 1,000. And then we'll restart number ones with those. <laughs> All right. Oh, yeah. Huge. For sure. You. At least Marvel didn't yeah. do that because they're like. They've done that a couple. No, what well, Marvel's they do done. It. They, it's, Mar- yeah. Marvel's worse. Marvel has gone, okay, I'll do this with She-Hulk. And I know they did it with Guardians of the Galaxy. Mm-hmm. They said, well, you know, She-Hulk is getting her 100th issue. You're like, wait a minute. There's 
she's not even come close to 100 issues. Well, if you take every one of her series <laughs> and add them together, oh. it would have been 100. And that's like, wait a fucking minute. Don't work that way. <laughs> so by that reasoning, we should be on Spider-Man number 2,337. <laughs> yeah. on every book, yeah. So did they, did they consolidate all her books into one and just number it 100? Like, did they kind. stop printing all the other books? Or? No, no, no. Oh, no. They just had a 100th issue anniversary No, because issue. they get to, like, issue 24, and then, and then the they sales cancel it. So they cancel it. Yeah. And they're like, we need to bring She-Hulk back. So then they oh, flat. Okay. They didn't go, like, well, we uh, we ended at 24, so this one will be 25. They're like, number one, bitches! Yeah. Yeah. And, uh, so, yeah. They, well, there's, like, five volumes of Daredevil now. It's ridiculous. Oh, yeah. Because, I will say, oh. Oh, go ahead. Because what they do is instead of going, okay, next issue is a new storyline... You know, it's it's seven now. Next issue is a new storyline. Well, it'll be eight. It's like no, we'll just do a n- number one. So they're they're more or less like m- miniseries now. That's yeah. so they're not even. It's so well, dumb. But then they want to celebrate these milestones. Mm-hmm. They yeah. want to celebrate. Like I remember Spider Man at four forty one. Amazing Spider Man ended, and they started at number one. Yep. Well, guess what? Sixty issues later, they got close to five hundred. So guess what happened when they got to 500? It was suddenly 500 again. Oh, oh they did the same thing with the Hulk at 600. It went yeah. like from, ni- from Amazing Spider-Man Volume 2, number 58, to Amazing Spider-Man Volume 1, number 500. <laughs> well, but here's the deal. You think that's bad. How, what what happened after that, though? Did they keep going at the, in the No, they went to 700, ended it at 700, and started at 1 again. Yeah. Oh. And then we've had two number ones since then. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Look at series like uh, Thor, Hulk. Hulk at least had his, his original run was one through six, mm-hmm. and then he was in uh, Tells to Astonish. Oh yeah. Okay. They they renamed it Incredible Hulk at one oh one, so there was never an Incredible Hulk hundred, never Incredible Hulk ninety nine, but they restarted it. You know, so yeah, that's weird. and they and yeah, then they redid uh, one in the nineties like they did with all of them mm-hmm. with Heroes Return, yeah. and yeah, they did the same thing five hundred. You know, oh, we're at 500 so now, or 600, I mean, so we I don't need know to remember everything. Like, I think they does, just pull it, pull it out of their so, ass. See, this is another thing. Like, with Spider Man, does it count? Like, okay, so are we at Amazing Spider Man, let's see, 18 plus whatever we're at now, 8, 9? Yeah. So 20. But does that count then Superior Spider Man, which ran to like 36? Nope. But if we're just going to throw all that shit together, well, so it's that not. Add, no, it's all, it only the does that the, add up the, the, the eight hundred or nope. Just <laughs> well, that's what they did with um, She-Hulk. Uh, pictures of leaked with for the Supergirl Flash crossover. Uh, oh, Silver I seen these. Silver Banshee will be the uh, uh, mm. magical. She's a villain that has a scream, Wait, you know, that can kill people. I was going to make a joke about okay, DC Afterbirth. Oh, sorry. <laughs> After, okay, go okay, ahead. That's enough. I don't know. Okay. Either. I think. We just kept going. Yeah. <laughs> uh, I think Matt's theory on J Bing Zoom was shot out of the water last week. What? And not and not because it looked um, like Zoom killed him. It was because Barry was trying to get out of his prison. Mm-hmm. Zoom kicked the shit out of him while Jay was trying to fix or stabilize the portal on Earth One. I don't know. We'll see. So it, it's one thing to be so fast you can be two places well, at one who is in he the same if he's not. Okay, and okay, one question I had okay. about that. What you got? He has vibrated. He vibrated his hand through a guy's chest. Yeah. Or was that Jay? That was Jay. That at was the Jay. End. It wasn't Barry. Okay. So they I think was... he's dead. They think, oh shit, we've seen this before. He killed Jay. Wait, what? No. Uh, okay. I, I'm just talking about Barry being trapped in that like. Okay. Yeah. The glass wall thing. Okay. And he he can't get out. But then he gets I, out. I was thinking that like he. Didn't he know that he could vibrate through stuff already? What it is is if you've noticed, it's kind of like a Cisco. Their oh, their right. Earth the is at a different thing. Yeah, vibrational that. frequency, right. and Why Barry Cisco had to learn his powers. Yeah, yeah so Barry right. had to figure out how to sync his I frequency. Yeah, they, with, they yeah. did mention that. So I don't know. When are we gonna find out who Zoom is? How much longer is that? It should be much longer. Yeah, soon. it's on right now. Um, uh, so yeah, I'll watch that when I get he home. He unmasks see. himself in front of Barry. It's in a trailer mm-hmm. thing. You just don't see. So, um, mm. <clears throat> it, I'm my son thinks it's uh, thinks it's uh, the original Jay is the guy in the iron mask, mm-hmm. and Zoom is like 
or the the J we've been seeing is like Earth three J. <laughs> it's oh. like Johnny Quinn. We Quay. haven't had what? any evidence of an Earth three. But what about Doctor Zora Nastrian or whatever that was the on Zoo the park bench? Or it could be. Does Zoo that Alman. count? Am I still if that if that's Zoom, and he's an Earth one guy that went to Earth two? Do I win? But how did he? How was he there before I the portal know. opened? That's the thing. But we'll see. Uh, Legends of Tomorrow was decent. That it was, was okay. the one with the Russian. I, I was kind of because mm-hmm. the, the the female scientist is negative woman in Doom Patrol. Oh. So, really? So I, I was. Didn't know I that. thought they would go that way. Well, she died. Well, we don't know that. We know there was a big explosion. She had the Firestorm Matrix. Maybe some. Okay. They'll do something with that. Yeah, but she Lady was Firestorm. so clearly a villain. Oh yeah. I don't know how they could redeem her and make her. Of course, Captain Cold. Yeah, is uh, he's killed many a people in in these shows. And oh, my wife loves Snard. <laughs> did you she get? Did you Stark. get the reference? Which one? You have okay. To... Did he say heat he wave? Heat freeze? waves in the gulag. No, no, no. Heat waves in the gulag. They're planning on breaking him out. Snart goes. This isn't my first prison break. Oh. <laughs> Because in the, the show Prison Break, those two actors were brothers who were trying to break yeah, out of a prison. Yeah. yeah. I remember that now. That's. But. I um, have not. Oh, yeah. What else? Uh, Better Call Saul came back. I haven't Sorry, got to watch it. We missed. Uh, Missed Walking Dead because oh. well WWE fast. I've we seen. Saw that. I saw. Uh, I've saw enough. I know the Chichika Bow Wow. Yeah, I saw that. Yeah. <laughs> I know of that. So oh, I missed something good. Yeah. Oh yeah. Yeah, chicken. So, chicken I don't Bow watch. Wow, I didn't watch. I didn't watch Entourage. What? So, Entourage. Brown Sugar is what you mean. And I didn't. Apparently. So I don't watch Better Call Saul. And I don't watch. Wait, Walking Entourage. Dead. What? You mean, you mean Breaking Bad? Breaking no, Bad sorry. was who had Better Call Saul. It was. Yes. Then, is there a spinoff of Entourage? No, you're thinking of just the asshole agent. I probably am. Okay, this Jeremy is the Piven, Lord. That's yeah, right. you're it's thinking not, of, yeah, no, no, it's I'm, not I'm all fucked proven. up. You're right. Wow, yeah. You're way off. This shows you how much I know about this subject that we're talking <laughs> about right now. Not a lot. No. <laughs> well, but, uh, when Gary Shandling showed up. <laughs> <laughs> this is the theme to Gary Shandling. This is the theme to get. Remember that the Gary Shandling show? Yeah. Vaguely. I remember the episode where he got where somebody got stuck in a well. <laughs> and that's the only episode I ever remember from the Gary Shandling show. No, that was Baby Jessica. That was no, no, no. It happened on the. Like, hold on, I'm gonna look this shit up. <laughs> I'm looking this shit. What about Arliss? I always associated Arliss and Gary Shandling show. Uh, I remember Arliss, but I didn't watch it. I didn't much. like either one of those. I, you yeah. know, the thing. Sadly, the thing I watched the most when I was in my teenage years was The Sopranos on HBO. Yeah. We had HBO for a while, and I watched The Sopranos. I How long was never that? Seen a single episode. How long was that on? Six to nine years, I would say. Wait, Gary Shandling or Sopranos? Sopranos. There was no way you as a teenager watching The Sopranos. Yeah, no. It was not on that long. Well, no, it was I about... I it came out in the mid-90s. Yeah, mid-90s, 95, like 97, 96? 98, yeah. Oh. Hold on. So it was on for over a decade? Maybe. Because it just, I mean, and I could be, my my dates might be it, but hasn't it just gone off the air less than five years ago? It was on in 99 ago? because oh, no, I bought yeah. the soundtrack album in 99. I think it no. I think it went off like two thousand three or four. Oh, was it? I thought it was a lot. Oh, oh. yes, see. because it well, or at least around I'd say two thousand six or seven because uh, Hillary Clinton used it. That the the oh. ending of The Sopranos, she used it in a campaign ad <laughs> in her two thousand eight run. Believe Holy shit! Just tell me when it was released. Okay, January tenth, nineteen ninety nine to to June tenth, two thousand seven. Huh, ninety nine? Huh? Okay. So early Wolf 1999. What about really? the wire? Look up the wire. Uh, because that seems like I seem like I've been watching it for almost two years before. Well, yeah, you'd be wrong. <coughs> Apparently, I was. Yeah, it yeah, seems like, like I remember it being on when I was in high school. Yeah, me too. Uh, the wire. Uh, okay. Because I was young, once. Uh, uh June second, two thousand two, to March ninth, two thousand eight. Hmm. There you go. Two thousand two. Yeah, 2002. Oh, yeah, they, none of these dates sound right to me. Uh, fuck, now I forget what I was going to look up the other one. John Carpenter's Vampires. Hey, that was a good one. Yeah, he likes that one. Yeah. Uh, what was That's I looking up? One. No, there was something else I was going to... That was like 98, I'd say. Yeah. 98? Yeah, it was you 90s. Distracted me. Fuck. Hey, you know what? 
the the great thing about vampire movies is they always put their own twist on it. Oh, I, I like the idea of a vampire hunter where they used a cable to spear yeah. him and drag him with a tow wrench to drag him out. That was sun. cool, right? Yeah, it's smart. And I I love the the lesser Baldwin brothers are getting work. I wasn't who which one was in that one. I don't remember there being a bald. There's a bald one in that. Gosh, man, it's yeah, it's the heavy Baldwin brother. I can't remember which one. John, the younger. No, not John Bon Jovi. It was. Uh, it was. Uh, <laughs> he was in the sequel. What? There was yeah, a sequel. There was to a vampires? sequel to John Carpenter's Vampires. I know that. I just, um, I've blocked it from my memory. I think it was that bad. Was okay. it uh, Ghosts of Mars? Daniel Baldwin. Yeah. Oh. And let's see. There was a sequel. John Bon Jovi was in the sequel. Vampires oh. Los Muertos. With John Bon Jovi. <laughs> oh, so he's, he's cast, uh, or he, he top build? Yeah, he is top build. <clears throat> and then there was another one, Vampires the Turning, hmm. featuring Colin Inglesfield and Patrick... Duffy? No. Oh. How would I say this? Boca Chico Boca. That sounds a bit right. Boca Chico Boca Chico I don't remember. I don't know. But no, no, we were talking and I said, I'm going to look this shit up. Sopranos, Wire. No, it was before Sopranos. Weeds. Oz. No, it's not a show. How old somebody was. Weird Science. No. That's That was a show. Yeah. Oh, we yeah, will that's sit like on USA or mm-hmm. something. Um, it, it's become a thing now. Every Red month, Diaries. Matt no. and another buddy of ours called Ron comes out and watch wrestling pay per views. Whenever we have a question, hey, I wonder how tall that guy is or how short that chick is. My wife is how old? My wife is the person. Oh, how let me old look is that AJ up. Styles? That's yeah. <laughs> yeah. How old is AJ Styles? She'll go. Let me look. By the way, she's always the one to look stuff up. But mm-hmm. apparently, uh, Triple H went a little too. Gun ho last night and shattered uh, Roman Reigns' nose. Is that what happened? I know he was bleeding. So, you know what else yeah. I think is so funny? Is they're trying to push Roman Reigns. Oh, God. Everyone's and everybody doing. was cheering <laughs> Triple H beating the shit out of him. <laughs> but yeah, they it's uh, that might have a problem on the whole uh, WrestleMania thing. Yeah, no shit. Good Don't job, have. Triple H. Yeah, you overzealous, mother. Well, I certainly won't be taking him to prom. Yeah. Triple H? <laughs> No, the broken nose guy. No, oh, Roman Reigns. You know, you can come over and watch wrestling too if you want. Yeah, you're more than welcome. Mm. I'm, I'm inviting you to his house <laughs> to watch his television with with his uh, pay per view. Are there any from, pizzas from, involved in this uh, transaction? Yes, there yep. are pizzas, pizzas involved in this. We we, we take turns buying the pizzas <laughs> and the sodas. That's really so. why we want you because we've all bought the pizzas <laughs> so many well, times. I'll be there two out of three weeks. <laughs> 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 Shit, I wish I could remember what I was looking at. But uh, uh, we did have deaths. We uh, had Daredevil season two. Uh, oh yeah. Well, v- oh, Vanity died. Van- Vanity. Nasty girls. Uh, Prince's protege. Uh, oh. Not Apollonia. Not yeah, Sheena see. Easton. <laughs> the, the other, other one. one. The one that he took under his wings and under his covers. <laughs> Like all of them? Like all of them. <laughs> yeah, right. Basically, that's just... They like, rocked his little, was it, five-foot-two world. <laughs> <laughs> he let... He let... He let she, he, she led him into her sugar walls, but that was Sheena Easton. <laughs> okay. Uh, uh, the guy off Police Academy. Police Academy, coming out Lassard. Oh, really? Yeah. Uh, he also played Punky Brewster's father. father. Bunker. <laughs> that guy. That wasn't the same guy. Ride. No, it was the same guy. No, it yes, it was, but Look it is. It Wikipedia, here we come. Oh god, yeah, the one you need a solid source. So the the Punky Brewster show. I no, remember the, the Punky cartoon. Brewster dad was a different. The cartoon was very different than the show, right? Like she had like okay, a little. Okay, here we go. Like, oh, little magic Punky little Brewster's animal. American sitcom about a girl named Punky Brewster, Soleil Moon Fry, being yeah. raised by foster parent George Gaynus. <laughs> Gaynus. All right, here we go. I'm clicking on George Gaynus. That's very appropriate for the uh, Police um, Academy movies. But Gay's most recognized work. roles in cinema were arguably that of Commandant Eric Lassard in the Police Academy series. Fucking A. 
Okay, I'm so thinking. Nice right. I want to talk I'm about Punky Brewster's weird little monkey bear. Oh, that was creature. fucked up. That Ewok. was a cartoon. Like, yeah, that was Rainbow the acid Ewok. trip. So what was the deal in the show? I remember the live action. She's show just a homeless too. girl that moved in with an old man. Technically, really, that's yeah. it. It's so Punky it was like Brewster is the animated show. What is it? It was name like of Annie that without the music. And yeah, the rich kind of person. Oh my gosh, George Gaines did the <laughs> this character's um, nay uh, voice in the um, in the show. Gloomer. <laughs> Voiced by Frank Ooh. Welker. <laughs> Megatron. Voice Gloomer. Kermit the Frog from Muppet Babies. <laughs> didn't he also did Fred, didn't he, from Scooby Doo? Yes. Frank Welker has done a huh. shit ton of stuff. You you made a con- I had to show my boys this. You guys, I, I'm thinking it was in the last previews we got. Did you see what they're doing to Scooby Doo for comics? Oh, it's terrible. They're I updating them. Yes. It's yes, beat or er, mm. beatnik Shaggy is now um, hipster Shaggy. hipster Shaggy. And apparently Scooby-Doo wears a collar. He doesn't talk. He wears a collar so he can communicate in emojis. Oh, <laughs> so like holographic Holy emojis. Crap. Okay, Frank Welker was yeah. Dr. Claw in yep. Inspector what? Gadget. Gadget. Yeah. Uh, he was Dr. Ray Stance in the real Ghostbusters. <laughs> Garfield, but not the one from the Garfield show that everybody knows. Oh, it was it, a different Gar. Oh, one of the specials, probably. President Garfield? Garfield gets real. Garfield's Fun Fest. It's like the direct of view. Oh, and then okay. Megatron, Galvatron, and Transformer. Yeah. Jabberjaw, <laughs> the shark, the talking yeah. shark, and Fred Jones, I, a.k.a. Fred from Scooby-Doo. Uh, yeah. Jones. Which they've screwed that up. because now I, He's been a whole bunch of more it, people. It's like they've gotten the... The animators from like uh, the the Cleveland Show or Family that Guy. That doesn't do look right. I don't the know. The new Scooby Doo. Yeah, it looks hmm. real bad. It's yeah. Uh, it, uh, they well, should get the animators from Reboot to do it. There you go. Okay. <laughs> I'm sure that won't look in any way dated anymore. I mean, you know, no Reboot God. holds up, right? I want more polygons. <laughs> Wasn't the villain's name Hexadecimal? No, no, there was. Uh, it was Megabyte. I remember there was a. Uh, yeah, but, but there was a character named Hexadecimal. I remember there was a female villain that her mouth never moved. I, I don't know if that was supposed to be a villain. I don't know if it was supposed to be a mask or they reboot. Just couldn't. Let's yeah, see. reboot was bad. A lot of people <laughs> yeah. love this show. It's Canadian. well because well because for in its time it was cutting edge. When is the All first right. ever completely computer generated? You know, and then Let's Beast see. Wars was after that. Yeah. So, do you guys I'm, remember Liquid Television on MTV? Yeah, I do. Eon Flux. They had yeah. The Max. And they had Max. some like three, some like computer generated stuff, like super blocky, weird. Yeah. Like the weird out, like in UHF, the, the, <laughs> yeah, the video. The, yeah. Hexadecimal was a, ca- a villain. Let me see. Hold on. Hack and Slash. Oh, I forgot about Hack and Slash. That's when you go like, hey, they're making an Eon Flux movie. Okay. It's like, well, that's like three mo- minutes. You know yeah. <laughs> Hexadecimal, the self-proclaimed queen of chaos, is a virate operating in Lost Angles. So it's like a, it's like a she new is Megabyte's sister serving as the chaos to his order. I think Megabyte that's the one had who had the order. weird face that changed all the yeah. time. Like oh, glitched. her va- vast collection of masks. Oh, Serve to show to her see. facial expressions, thereby giving her a Harlequin-like appearance. There you Ooh. go. Harlequin. So, so there we go. Uh, uh, speaking of which, uh, Arkham, or not Arkham, uh, Gotham, Gotham comes back Monday. Monday. X-Files is so, over. Did you guys watch X-Files? Nope. I watched, I watched it. I haven't seen the last no, episode. Okay, over? I'm, I won't spoil yes, anything. Yes, the last episode was last night. But it's, I mean, it was like, what, eight six, episodes? Six oh, six episodes. Six episodes. Yeah. It is fucking ballsy to yeah. end on a cliffhanger when you don't know if you're coming back. Yeah. And that's exactly what the X-Files did. They're like, there, just throw that down, Fox. What you going to do about that? You know? What you going to do? Now you have to give us more episodes. So yeah. we don't know. We don't know what Check happened. Check your inbox, bitch. <laughs> so, yeah, yeah but uh, Gotham's coming back. So yeah. Apparently Freeze is the big. And, and Bruce is going to confront his parents' killer? Which is something that went through one and two on, you know, well, it kind of got dropped real quick because Bruce Wayne is the most unlikable character in the show, (laughs) Gotham. Yeah. Which is um, really not good. (laughs) I heard they were going to recast him with Dave Coulier. (laughs) (laughs) Hey, 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 cut it out. 
That's why I was late tonight. I was talking about Full House with uh, with Chris. (laughs) What? How about Fuller House? Is that even aired yet? No, not yet. It's coming soon. (laughs) That's that's how we got on the topic. You say, I'm sorry I'm late. I was in the middle of a very important meeting. Not, I was talking about Full House. That's why I'm going to use that excuse next time I'm late for work. Sorry, guys. I know I'm 20 minutes late, but I was talking about Full House. Well, the meeting devolved into talking about Full House. God, what we what just, is that on now? It's not. Is it? It's Nick on Tunes? Netflix, I think. Well, no, oh, but it's oh, on like Nick reruns. or something like. Yeah. I think my boys Nick turn into that just so they can never go. Oh hell no! <laughs> Don't like the Full House. No, never liked oh. the Full House. I was learning about it. Like I watched it after school in syndication. But you know, it was probably like season four or five. And they were still making new seasons, new episodes, and I never watched the new Come episodes. Come on, Nick, what ever happened? So apparently, there's. No, I just liked. I like to see. See that baby? Yeah, they're crack wars now. Yeah. <laughs> Whoa! <laughs> what? what? I do not. Uh, Kanye see. West and the Olsen twins tonight. <laughs> apparently, so here we go. Uh, uh, okay, they just look like crack whores. I can't. They I can't they're the only yeah, ones that didn't do the show. Right, yeah, they're the only yeah, ones. Yeah, they explain back. that. <laughs> she died. They died. Correct. Cancer. Well, there's only one of them, remember, Yeah, that's in, true. actually in the show. So. Or, I mean, they traded <laughs> well, off. Here's I what guess. happened to Michelle. She was in Tijuana, <laughs> and a guy said, Do you want to see a, monk, uh, a donkey show? And she's like, You got it, dude. And she disappeared and had both her kidneys harvested. There you go. Oh, the old kidney harvesting trick. Well, see, you know, maybe she's in college. Yeah. The what? key to that joke is, You got it, dude. <laughs> yeah, right, right. You got it. Or uh, put it on the pizza. So so how did you get on to uh, the, the topic of Full House or Fuller House? Well, Chris is a big fan. A uh, Full House? <laughs> yeah. Unironically. Now, now as, um, as hard as it was to get some is, of those I, actors back. I don't back. know if there's a way to do that unironically. <laughs> <laughs> he feels like it was, it. they achieved their vision. It, it, like it was the, the most uh, accurate. <laughs> achieved like, their full, vision? Uh, re, yeah, like... Uh, yeah, it it was exactly what it was intended email to be. Am I going to get another for my roasting a full house? Maybe. He, I don't know if he'll listen to this episode. Oh, okay. Just wondering, because, you know, I don't want to do any rant or rant of the listeners. <laughs> Anybody else uh, want to talk about full house, you know, get a hold of us. Yeah, yeah. no, you can. You can talk about full house. Sure. I'm just saying maybe their goal, their artistic vision and goal no, was something. to make a shitty can <laughs> sitcom that they could put on TGI Friday. Right. Personally, I'm more of an Alf guy. Oh, oh Alf was amazing. <laughs> Willie, I'm going to eat the game. Or Night Court. Oh, now I was just Night Court. I was like fiending great. for some Night Court this last See, week. I, I respect Dan, your choices. God, what was his Dan Fielding. Fielding. I love John Larroquette. Yes. He Gosh. did the uh, opening, uh, the, uh, uh, the, the like voiceover for the beginning of the Texas Chainsaw Massacre. See, my there favorite character was the judge, Harry. Trivia. I loved him. Oh, yeah, Harold T. Stone, Harry yes, Anderson. Harry Stone, yes. Also appearing in It, the TV. That was like, that blew yeah. my mind yeah. when I was a kid. I was like, what, Harry Harry Stone is on, on It? I remember that, yes. Yeah, talk about using a reference no one gets. When, when I talk to people, it. Did you hear it? Night yeah. Court or It, okay. Yeah, we yeah. went from no. <laughs> Night Court to It. Yeah. Anybody under the age of, like, 28 <laughs> has just gone, what the fuck? Yeah. <laughs> When when we adopted our, our our second child, I used the Harry reference. I said, "Yeah, like on Night Court." Like mm-hmm. what? Because they asked Harry at the at the end of the first. What it is is this guy becomes a night judge, and he's he's a, a, a magician. I want right. he wants he's to be like a, a comedian. Comedian, and finally someone goes, "How did you get this job?" <laughs> he goes, "Well, it was like the last night of the mayor's term. It was a holiday." And he, he had to appoint judges, and he just started at the top of the list, mm. and nobody was home. <laughs> and finally got to me, and here mm-hmm. I am. Mm. And I said, that's how dun, we got our dun, kid, dun, because dun, when, when they called to see who could pick up a newborn baby in Louisiana, it was 4th of July. They couldn't mm. get a hold of anybody. <laughs> so then they just got to the bottom Holy of the list, shit. and there Listen we were. Listen to this. Harry Anderson as Judge Harold T. Stone, Stone, a young, good-humored jurist, an amateur magician yep. whose parents were formal mental patients. Yeah, when did that I did. Come out in the no, show? it did. I remember because I think actually. I think like mom would escape <laughs> and come see him every so often. I don't so remember often. that. What I remember is him trying to put a big gigantic set of Groucho Marx uh, glasses on the Statue uh, of Liberty. Oh, somebody beat him to it, or someone stole it. Yeah. Um, I oh, loved I Roz. Roz was yeah. the black woman. Oh yeah. yeah, she was great. And she said, uh, "I got a tattoo." 
And they're like, where at? And she was on my ass. <laughs> so what does what is it? She says, if you're close enough to read this, that better be a ring in your pocket. <laughs> you know, or something like Oh, Night Court was such a great show. Oh, and we haven't even talked about Bull yet. Oh, right? Bull. I remember when they would do the commercials for Night Court when it was in syndication. They did Wooly Bully. As yeah, that. <laughs> right. Bully, bully. God, it was so sad that oh, they bully, had to explain bully. to Bull. Bull bully, bully. was. Oh my God! I don't want to say he was. Ret- he was a slow bailiff. Yeah. yeah. Big uh, Richard Mall. Richard Mall. Yeah. Shaved head. He's probably looking back. He's probably in his late twenties when he did it. But the the sad thing was they had his. No, I won't want to say for his sidekick. The other bailiff mm-hmm. was this like eighty year old wo- chain smoking woman. Uh, that was Selma. Selma. Oh, that's right. Yeah. And yeah, she passed chains- away. I remember this. And this they actually a coach situation. They actually had to do an episode where she died, and they had to sit bull down and explain to him. <laughs> And I think he put like his fist through a door or something. Like he's so mad that that's his friend it's died. That's exactly what happened on Cheers. The guy who played Coach died wow. after yeah. like the third season or something. And they had to bring in, Woody, in Woody Harrelson, Harrelson and, which is what inflicted Woody which Harrelson was technically on all of us. just a young coach. It was yeah, just another was, idiot. Yeah. Same character, <laughs> right? Yeah, <laughs> just another idiot. You know. Well, when they brought in Kirstie Alley, it was pretty much the same character too. It was a, a romantic foil for Ted, uh, Ted Danson. Right. Was, There's a different dynamic. Yeah. I'm actually, yeah. Yeah. I'm actually watching true. Cheers. I, I just got to season five, which is when Christine comes in. Oh, Cheers. Or was... not Christine, uh, but when Kirstie Alley. Uh, yeah, because oh, okay. what it is is Sam sold the bar to a company, yes. and, and she, she was running it. it. Yeah, she was managing it for the company. Yeah. Holy crap. There was a chick between <laughs> Selma and Roz. What? Florence Kleiner. Huh. Selma's replacement. She was similar oh, in age and personality to yeah. Selma, but despite her age, loved things like motorcycles and heavy metal music. I vaguely recall wow. that. I remember her in a motorcycle. Oh, that helmet chick vaguely. died too. <laughs> yeah. So Jeez. let's get so somebody like, younger. Let's get somebody younger with sass yeah. in here. So that's how you got Roz. Mac. She, Mac was oh, always Mac. fun. Oh, I forgot all about Mac. I was yeah. going to say, yeah, a Vietnam vet with a Vietnamese w- wife. Hey, Juan hey, yep. Lee. Parents didn't approve of. I remember yep. this. I remember, yeah, yeah, he was great too. Oh yeah, that whole cast was amazing. Yeah, and then they had to replace well, Christine, uh, Marky Post. They yeah, had to Marky replace Marky her Marky. with Billy. Oh, so when she right. left, because Billy yeah, was yeah. had the short crop hair, like what they call it now. I don't want to call it butch, like uh, Tinkerbell or whatever pixie. haircut. Pixie, yeah, pixie cut. So, hmm. no, they okay. They didn't replace Marky Post. Marky Post replaced Billy. Oh, okay. Oh. Yeah, that's true. I think you're right. But yeah, I think Billy was only there for like a season or two. Yeah. And then she was I remember replaced by One of Marky my Post. mom's uh, boyfriends had a signed picture uh, from Marky Post, and I was not impressed. Even though I was a fan <laughs> of Night Court. It's uh, like, huh. Oh, oh God. What, was, what is his name? Bruce yeah. Spencer. Data. Remember when he went to like. Oh, yeah. Data was on this. Bruce Spencer. Uh, uh, Yakov Smilnoff was on the show. Yeah. <laughs> There's there's a part of me he's doing his last hurrah in Branson. Yeah, yeah. I think maybe he's already done it. But there was always a part of me that always wanted to go to Yakov's show and go up afterwards with a copy of Night Court and get him <laughs> because he was on Night Court oh, so yeah. much. He was uh, one of my favorite ones. Remember this about Night Court? They had a family come in that started a fight. And Brett it, Spiner, it, yeah, Brett Spiner, is, uh, yeah, and oh, was yeah, yeah. Uh, it's like it was the 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 parents' hundredth and something anniversary or some shit like that, and their kids are like in their eighties or nineties, and the judge is like, why don't you guys just break up if you hate each other so much? He goes, well, divorce is just so hard on the children. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, Night Court was such a good show. It was. It was yeah. a great show. I remember I those the first time that jazz intro to that, if you start I'm like that zapped me right back to my show. Oh, yeah. Down 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 down. Well, I think we've got our, our picture for the Night Court. Yeah. <laughs> we'll have to figure out a way yeah. to do that. But all right. Something dun, dun, something dun. new to Scrambled Brains. Okay. We actually Ooh. have viewer mail. <laughs> Yes, Fan listener mail. mail. A listener mail. Listen, so what wait, do we wait, got? This is a new segment. <clears throat> listener mail. <laughs> listener <laughs> mail. <laughs> We're <laughs> going to read some listener <laughs> mail. Yeah. There we go. That's pretty good. Hey, you use that. Copyright 2016. I'll have to, have to do that every time now that we get one of those. Yeah. yeah. I'll forget <laughs> every what it is time. time it happens again. <laughs> so what do we got? Okay, so we got a, I mentioned, well, Chris Oliver, we, uh, well, Matt and I know him. Mm-hmm. Uh, so he's been uh, okay. I'll just read the email. This, uh, is where I have to this just he, we just got this just came in today. Where I have to defend about, myself about an okay. hour ago. 
Uh, dear Scrambled Brains, long time listener, first time emailer. <laughs> And that's true. Okay. That's true. He, that is true. First, he goes, he goes first emailer. <laughs> yeah. Uh, I just listened to your Star Wars Force Awakens spoiler epi- episode. There we go. I really enjoyed the movie, so I was interested to hear the other side of what the movie did wrong. Okay. While I did understand where you were coming from with most of the critiques, it did feel like they fell mostly into two categories. Mm-hmm. Either it wasn't enough like the original movies, or it was too much like the original <laughs> movies. Also, I didn't buy the argument that everything needs to be explained in every single Star Wars movie. The original concept was that Star Wars was a Western serial that was in space. It was meant to keep you coming back. And then there's a second pair. You want me to just finish? No, 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 keep going. going. Keep going. going. I think it would be interesting to see how you would react if you could wipe your brain and just watch the original Star Wars today. What would your critique be? Of course, you could never do that with Star Wars, but you could do that with a brand new project. Oh, wait, this is like, oh. Uh, therefore, I challenge you to analyze your co-host Willie Runyon's project, Lake Kinnikinick, <laughs> with the same intensity that you dispensed <laughs> to the Sport Force Awakens. That is a scrambled brains I much forward, I look, look I much listen. look forward to listening to. I'm going to, oh. I'll do that right now. So that's like a I, I listen to this Lake Kinnikinick. Oh. It was pretty good, pretty good. But okay. I'll tell you what, we need more man number one. <laughs> <laughs> If it was only more like one, the original Kinnikinnick. One line, <laughs> he had one line, stole the whole fucking show. There you go. If we need more of that guy, he's a genius. Uh, the rest of it was okay, too. Yeah, we're trying to we're trying to write a whole episode around Man One. Well, you should. We man had one. so much demand. Now he's... Man Juan. I should have done, done it in a Mexican <laughs> accent because there you now go. he's Man One. <laughs> now he will be yeah. known as Man One. Batman One. Batman One. We can do a tick reference. Yeah, there, there, you, there we go. Okay, but I don't think everything has to be explained in Star Wars. All right. I don't. But if it is a fundamental thing that affects the plot of this movie, it should be explained. Okay, you can go, oh, no, that happened back there. No, no, that you can't do that. It's a deus ex machina type thing that where it just shows up out of nowhere. Like, how does she know how to use the Force? Because she heard of it one time? No, that doesn't work. <laughs> she has to know how to use the force. Now I don't I don't expect them to explain to me how spaceships travel through hyperspace, even though I know. <laughs> well then or, well and I hate to our I, 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 I hate to bring up the, the, the prequels. Mm-hmm. But isn't wasn't that technically the, the answer of how Anakin was able to do a pod race was so good at pod racing Blood. that he tapped into the force and he didn't even realize he was tapping into the force. Yes, mm. but he didn't then turn around and beat the shit out of Darth Maul. <laughs> well, if well, Darth Maul later. would have been a whiny little bitch, yeah, he would have. <laughs> well, that's true. Good point. He would have been like, oh, I don't want to do this. I'm going to smash some stuff up. But no, it doesn't all have to be explained. But some of this stuff where it changed. And then, uh. <laughs> <laughs> but, and what I want is, I do want it to be more like the original in feel. But mm. what I mean when it's too much like the original is I don't want a carbon copy of the story. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. This is I actually noticed this the other day when I was watching Ghostbusters and Ghostbusters 2. Ghostbusters 2, exact same fucking film as Ghostbusters. Huh. Yeah. <laughs> but yeah. there's peak slime. No, it's the same no. fucking film. <laughs> It replace, dances in a toaster. Okay, uh, uh, replace courtroom with uh, with uh, ballroom at an hotel. I mean, it's like I'm like, holy shit, it's the same fucking movie. Uh-huh. <laughs> I'm getting there. Uh, uh, Statue of Liberty. No, uh, no, no, it's different. Vigo. It's uh, different. Uh, stay puff, marshmallow man. No, it's Statue of Liberty. Oh shit. Stay puff. Oh, yeah. Oh, giant thing walk down the street and start wow. smashing buildings. I never put that uh, together. It's the same fucking movie, and that's the problem right there. I want something new. I wait. want something that feels like the original but isn't the original. Wait, wait. Dana Barrett was too afraid to stay in her own apartment, so she stayed at the... Wait a minute. Yeah. <laughs> but oh, wait. Well, there was a love affair where she couldn't stay in Pete Vinkman at first, but he won her over with his charm and fell in love with him by the end of the movie. <laughs> oh, wait a minute. That fucking happened in two, too. Wow. Well, and, and when he a asked... childhood. If, if you could wipe your mind and rewatch Star Wars. Mm-hmm. The problem with that is... Star Wars is it a good movie? I've been yes. constantly trying to wipe my mind with like rage <laughs> and whiskey and all but, kinds of dangerous drugs. That's not working. Star Wars set the standards. It's one of those. It was that time, that place. 
if you were just to bring it out now and say, hey, watch this movie from 1977 mm-hmm. or whatever, you go, eh, no. <laughs> you know, a little cheesy. Yeah, it's the a little cheesy. The, I can see strings. You know, I can see, you know. Mm-hmm. But it, it was that time, that place, yes, nostalgia, really colored, you know, colored glasses for a lot of people. It was the greatest thing. But you got to remember, even Star Wars started at episode four. No, it they didn't. didn't explain <laughs> shit. I got an answer for this. Oh, okay. It did. Star Wars was not Star Wars episode, episode four, four. A New Hope till Empire Strikes Back came out in 1981. Okay, but Before still, that, it was just Star Wars. There but, was no but, episode. Okay, four but you still have to admit it started you off in the middle of a story. But we don't know. I mean, we know it's the middle of a story, but that was all told to us in the thing. It didn't say. Yeah. And and. Uh, loner Ray, who learned the ways of Force from Luke Skywalker, and then was exiled to the planet Jakku. Had it said that when she beat the shit out of uh, out of uh, Kylo Ren, I wouldn't have questioned where that came from. Wait, how much time between the time that they left Tatooine and got to the Death Star was there? Oh wait, Not a lot. oh wait. No. Okay, no, I guess Luke didn't fight Darth Vader. He did in the not first fight Darth Vader. No, that was Obi Wan because they were on their way to Alderaan. Yeah, and the Death Star just and happened to still be with in Yoda the... when he fought Death, right. Darth Vader in Bespin. Mm. And mm. might I add, got mm. his ass kicked and and uh, oh, and horribly, yeah. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> but he did have the ability; he could like block like uh, blaster shots, right? He had some abilities You're right. in the first You're one. right. And if only they'd shown a scene where Obi-Wan Kenobi was training Luke Skywalker to to uh, to uh, block blaster bolts. Oh, fucking wait. That happened. <laughs> <laughs> oh, right. With the helmet. Yeah, blind even. Right. Yeah. Okay. Feel the force. Yeah, it's all about. A, okay. Okay. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Now, see, here, I can, I can make you an argument right here. They say, well, I have to wipe my mind and accept this. Well, you know what? I knew a shit ton about Deadpool going into Deadpool. I love Deadpool. You know why? <laughs> Because they did a good story with and stayed faithful to the character. Yeah, that's what I like. Mm. And they didn't explain. You know what they did? It didn't like, oh, well, Wade Wilson suddenly can kill everybody as a merciless assassin, even though he was a librarian before that. No. They get, oh, no, you were special forces. You have so many kills. You did this. You know, you worked as a mercenary. We know. They tell us how he can do what he does. My son and I, uh, someone put out a, they call it a uh, epic trailer, where they've, they've taken all the Batman v Superman, all the clips, all the trailers, and put them in chronological order. It's like a nine-minute thing. Hmm. We're watching the scene where Batman's, we talked about last time, where he comes into the warehouse, he's beating the shit out of everybody, throwing these guys around. My son goes, he shouldn't be able to do that. I'm like, are you, no, no, are you fucking physics in a movie with Superman in it? <laughs> is, there, is that where we're at? And I told him, I said, in Deadpool, you know what? All, all that Weapon X or whatever project did to him was give him a healing factor. Mm-hmm. That's it. There's no way in hell he, you know, a man can shoot five yeah. guys in the head. You know, that's with one something bullet. I was, yeah, I, this is, it's like a, co- a complaint for me. Okay. okay, super strength. Like, okay, so the uh, the strong woman that was the bad. Angel yeah, dust. Angel Dust. Angel, yeah. Like, super strength doesn't necessarily mean invulnerability, right? She was not invulnerable, yet Colossus could throw her through, like, a pile of cars and well, rusted jagged saw metal. Her, well, you never she didn't saw her get, get hurt. On her. Well, right. Yeah, I mean, so Deadpool said, headbutted her, that's what I'm but saying. you never saw her bleed. Yeah, you but never she saw should her. have, if, unless she's invulnerable. All we, we knew yeah. was, that, but maybe she did we have don't know her power set. But I felt yeah. that, I mean, I thought they just said that she was super strong. But I think well, there's an, an, an assumption in these superhero movies that if you're super strong, you're also super durable. Right. Yeah. That's because what I'm how saying. else are you going to take it? It's like, not <laughs> fair. They, and then also the, the, the guy, the scientist guy, he like lost his ability to feel pain, yet he also had super strength. Like they... Did well, they say that he had think super of it this strength? way. Because those things didn't equip guy up by the neck. Yeah, those well, weren't. Well, or know. think of it this way. Your body tells you when to stop. Yeah. Okay? It's kind of like with Deadpool. Well, Deadpool's doing all this crazy shit and no man. You know what? <clears throat> Deadpool may have been jumping 10 feet in the air and ripping every tenant in his body doing it. But yeah. it healed instantly. So yeah. he could push himself. Yeah, he did cut his hand off and it grew back. So Yeah. Right. So it's one of those, you know... I'm sure his healing factor works on the fatigue poisons in his body, so he can go longer than a normal person. He can push his body harder than anybody else because his body's healing and itself. He did have as a year of doing crazy shit. We, yeah, we saw a year's worth of him doing that. And let's so. not even talk about that. Ajax is actually a ripoff of a villain from a James Bond movie. The world yeah. is not enough. <laughs> yeah. 
he got shot in the head and it cut off his pain receptors. Oh, right. yep, same villain, Renard. That's the guy's name. Oh, so Actually, now every villain with, uh, doesn't feel pain. As a I rip came off up of with a oh, villain. Not all of them are villain. Dark Man also couldn't feel pain. Oh, yeah, there you go. Same Raimi movie. I came up with a guy like that back in like fourth grade or something. <laughs> I think I even said that Renard was a ripoff of Dark Man whenever <laughs> Renard came out in 1997. Yeah, I probably ripped off Dark Man actually. <laughs> Dark Man was a good movie. Yeah, uh-huh. man. William fucking Dark, Neeson Dark, in a Dark Man movie. too. Yeah. Not so much. Man, yeah, not so much with the Dark Man. <laughs> Who's actually the, yeah. Die Dark Man Die? Wasn't that with Dark Man too? <laughs> that, oh God! Three. What? Come on! I don't know. It was one of those. We were flipping through the channel and. Uh, was it called Next of Kin with Patrick oh, Swayze? Oh, yeah. Had Patrick Liam Neeson. <laughs> like, wait Kin. a minute. Is that Liam Neeson? <laughs> I'll be damned. It is. This Dark Man, that was like, uh, that was right after Batman came out. Oh, wasn't yeah. It? 1990. Yeah. yeah. And uh, that, and it's not based on a superhero from a comic or anything. No, That's but they did Man turn Randy it. Made up, they did it? turn yeah. it into a comic, though, of course. Right. Oh, he, oh, okay. He wanted to make a Batman movie. Hmm. He wanted to make The Shadow, or he wanted to make Batman. And it oh. is kind of, yeah, I can see where I the Dark Man... I would have loved to have seen him do The Shadow. Who, oh. Like that... That Shadow movie was terrible. Yeah. Yeah. I remember really wanting to like it. And I, I think... I, want, I, I mean, own it. I did not dislike it, but I haven't seen it since I was like 10. You think I, you think <laughs> I ripped into Star Wars. Let's get a... Let's go... Let's do a picture show and tell about The Shadow. Yeah. And watch me rip that into no, a new asshole. I'm, I'm not... I know The Shadow. Oh, it made money, though. Barely. Yeah, but <laughs> the original, the or, wasn't the Shadow technically like the Crypt Keeper, though? He would just introduce the kind, stories. He wasn't was, really in the, the story. Because oh. there was that, and then there was a character, the okay. Shadow. And it's, uh, yeah, because it's the Shadow knows. Right. Yeah. I think what Orson evil Wells lurks did some in of the hearts of men? Well, I'm trying to find Russell McCauley. Was the guy who and that was the same year the Rocketeer came out, or it was right around then. Oh, yeah. Right? They oh, I associate now, those because they're both like period things. That's yep. a movie I will bend down and kiss its ass. The Rocketeer. <laughs> I love the Rocketeer. Which technically is like Ant-Man rebooted. No. <laughs> Actually, it's kind of a rip-off man of uh, Commander Cody uh-huh. and Rocket Man from the Moon. Uh-huh. But nobody cares about that. No one things. cares about yeah. But... <laughs> There's some new Rocketeer series. It may be I in the comics. That's a, I, that's a thing that needs to come back. Yeah, <laughs> there. I just heard an interview on a podcast with a guy, but I didn't catch what medium it was coming out in. But there. Oh shit! The Rocketeer was a great movie. <laughs> uh, I know I've seen it. I just don't recall it. Yeah. Yeah. No. What it was is Howard Hughes, because Howard Hughes is in everything. Yeah. From the 30s. Oh yeah. He built a rocket pack. So they were trying to get it because they thought they were going to enter the war with the Germans, and they wanted an advantage on the battlefield. So they were developing a rocket pack, and Howard Hughes developed a prototype that then German spies stole because the fucking Nazi spies is amazing. Yeah. Um, they stole it, and they they uh, were trying to get away in an airplane, and they hit it at an airfield, but the feds killed them and blew up the plane that they were trying to escape in, and they had a vacuum cleaner. They grabbed oh, a vacuum right. cleaner, so they thought Which they had the rocket pack. Which looked very similar to the... So, yes, yeah. so they didn't... They're like, no, that's not the rocket pack. And it turns out that this pilot, test pilot, down on the test pilot, found Cliff it. Cliff Secord. Yes, yes. Ah, yes. Oh, my gosh, this is such a good movie. <laughs> I want to go home and watch The Rocketeer now. And who was that? Was that Billy Zane? Or no? He was the bad guy or something. No, was Timothy Dalton was the bad guy. Oh. Was, wait, no, <laughs> was Jennifer Billy Zane Conley involved was in, in that? It. Yeah, she was the love interest. The uh, Tess Trueheart. Yes, let's say. I can't remember who played Seacord. <laughs> to do a little. Uh, they need to make a sequel to this. Uh, I want to. F- oh my gosh. Dick Tracy reference. The Rocketeer was amazing. Where's the film? Rocketeer film. Who played Seacord? Oh, geez. I have to watch this again. And uh, remember. Th- and it was directed by Joe Johnston, the same guy that directed <laughs> Captain America, the Winter Soldier. Really? No, Captain America, the First Avenger, not the huh. Winter Soldier. Okay, wow. I could totally see that. Yeah, I didn't know that. Mm-hmm. And I, yeah, I remember I got like Billy the, Campbell. the novel novelization before it came out, and I I read it. I was like so excited about that movie. Yeah, and just real quick, uh, Dorkley and College Humor put up it from College Humor. Is your dick bigger than Hitler's? <laughs> Find out. Oh, we were just talking about that. <laughs> kind of. Yeah. Kanye West is all. Of course, my dick's bigger than, <laughs> than Hitler's. My dick is huge. Now, now I have to see what. My dick is going to rain for a thousand years. <laughs> God. Meanwhile. Just like Hitler. Tweeting, Mark Zuckerberg 
Give Kanye dick implants. <laughs> and to summarize, Star Wars wasn't that bad. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, what's that Matt, back to it? Matt, right. Matt if just, it makes him feel any better, if it makes Chris feel any better, I almost cried. I enjoyed it. I almost cried when Ray handed out that hit Luke Skywalker's lightsaber and he turned around and put his hood down. Mm. I'm like, I that was such a conflicting emotions for me. I almost cried. Yeah, I I was this close. I was like, I even was making noise. I was like, <laughs> I it it hit me in my Star Wars heart so hard that even though I was still mad at the rest of this fucking film, I was like, oh, the nostalgia, the love. Oh wow, <laughs> you can even get a certificate. Yeah. Well, okay, really? so one thing I thought I would throw out here, based you know. Um, the more I've thought about it, I, the more I've kind of appreciated what they did with the new Star Wars movie, uh, because I feel like what they were trying to do. I think it was an in, it was a choice. I think it was. I it seems <laughs> like it was intentional that they kind of that they. It's it it is you know it follows the blueprints you know kind of kinda matches up the original films mm-hmm. like, but it incorporates you know new things. It I, I felt like it was intentionally. Setting up, it was basically rebooting this the Star Wars franchise I do, in I the do. best way you could reboot something. Despite the fact that there are now four Star Wars movies I don't like and only three I do, mm-hmm. I still have hope because I am yeah. a stupid, stupid. Yeah, let, let's see how close the romantic. next one is to Empire, <laughs> and then we'll yeah. Uh, I think they're the going off copy of Empire. I'm fucking walking <laughs> out. My thoughts. Are, I'm thinking they're going to go in a completely different direction. They were just. Like they, I think there was enough kind of new stuff in there mixed and in with it, the references. I'm, I'm really and the hoping Ryan homages. Johnson does something, and I'm okay. hoping I have as hope. long as long at the end Finn does not end up in carbonite, we'll be okay. Yeah. <laughs> no, no, no. <laughs> Finn's gonna be held back by Chewbacca and go, "I love you," to Poe Dameron, and Poe Dameron's gonna be frozen in carbonite. I know. <laughs> Give me back my jacket. <laughs> Which that's a character we didn't get enough of, Poe Dameron. He's yeah. he's the fucking boss. I guess even I'm, though he's Han Solo. Yeah, I guess I'm curious. To, I didn't really like that character, but no. really? really, he was just kind of he was comedy relief. Yeah, it's, see, this is a common trait. I like the character nobody else likes. <laughs> I hate the characters everybody else. Well, likes. because there's not too much. Usually, comedy in Star Wars was R two. Yeah. You know, like plugging into a machine. Going, Wee! Yeah, you know. Yeah. Well, how so, am I supposed to know a power socket from a computer? I mean, no. <laughs> so, or, a, or an Ewok like falling off. A yeah, or so that, that wasn't funny. Oh, we we just we okay. We just watched uh, the Empire Strikes Back or no Return of the Jedi. Return of the Jedi mm-hmm. with the Ewoks and stuff. Yeah, they changed the last song. Why did they change the last song? Yeah, yeah, it's not Yubnub anymore. No, I was looking forward to that song. Oh, I love my. that. A lot song. of people. <laughs> what I love is you watch Return of the Jedi. That's the one. Jedi rocks in Jabba's palace is the one that I'm like. Oh, oh, rip my eardrums out, please. Yes, <laughs> when they have, like, the, the CGI, like, yes. woman mm, alien nah, thing nah, singing. Nah, nah, Goonite! That was, like, embarrassing. I was yeah, like, it, it, it was oh like Muppets gosh. bad. Yeah. I, wanted to, <laughs> I wanted to take two chopsticks, <laughs> rupture both my eardrums, and then shove them into my eyes. Yeah, yeah that was and pretty was, bad. They had that great song I that they did that. Uh, uh, with a size Noodles and uh, the Max Rebo band. It's, yeah, it, oh, how did it go? Let me see if I can find it. <laughs> uh, right. But it's it's fantastic, and uh, they yeah, Jedi rocks. No, wh- did, did, I didn't know that's what that was. <laughs> did they say why they changed the Ewok song, or was it just like for any other reason? They wanted it to have a more galactic feel. Right, it's they freaking show, Ewoks. Yeah, how well, galactic! But they, they added all those scenes where they cut to the different. Yeah, like, they, yeah. they cut to we the free. <laughs> right. You know, and sh- bullshit, like, because that's what we wanted to see was more Gungans. Yeah, I had a feeling, yeah. I, I, yeah, that's what, I knew that's what they were doing, but I, I was disappointed the Ewoks weren't at least singing it or something. Okay, yeah. it's called Lapty Neck is the name of this song. Let me see if I can, hold on, I can't wait. Do, 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 that, and this is the original do, 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 song do, do. from Jawa, J- Jabba's. Oh, no, yes. No, yeah, this is the original. And you know what? You hear this and you go, yeah, that was late 70s, early 80s. Yeah. I can dig it. And they reply. That, that's disco. <laughs> that was disco. Let's see. So I mean, here it is, late 90s, and what did they replace it with? Yeah, okay. 
They replaced it with this. Come on. No, no, no. The blues. Keep going. No. No. Okay. <laughs> terrible. Yeah. Yeah. So uh, let's see. Is uh, yep nub. <laughs> yep nub. We don't want to do yep, this. Yep nub. Really. Okay. All right. Well, we're over. We're like one yeah. an hour ten minutes. Well, you yeah, see, so now we need to go. You know what? Somewhere. Instead, we need to go out after the after we do the goodbye internets and all our little things. You need to come in and put in the. Yub nub song. Yep nub. Yeah, we end it the way that it should be ended. Nub dub da 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 da. God, like I said, you had to, you know that time, that place. Yup, yup. Yup, yup. Nam me nu me na. Nam me nu me na. <clears throat> so yeah, you can relive that. You know, we could you could put it out. You know what? Just just let me. I'll give you my thea- original theatrical cut of Return of the Jedi, and you can watch Yub Nub in all yeah, its glory. Yeah, there you go. It, it's on Which, VHS. It's right? on DVD. Oh, okay. I have one of the very rare yeah. ones that will sell for shit tons of money on eBay now but because everybody want. wants it, but nobody else, nobody thought to buy it at the time of the DVDs of the original theatrical cuts of those movies. They are put on as bonus features. So I had to buy oh. the special editions with another disc that had the original film n- unaltered on it. Okay, those those didn't come in the box set though. You had a probably individual. Yeah, it might have been a box set. We'll see. I've got the box set. I wonder if mine's got it on there. <laughs> Just never knew. Yeah, it's. Uh, and let's see. if we, I mean, they keep saying Blu-ray, Blu-ray. It's coming out on the but uncut. They never do it. Yeah. So. Yeah. Oh, they will eventually. I mean, that's a huge, that's a cash You cow, would think man. so. You'd think they would have done wait, it before this movie waiting. came out. Actually, yeah, they're probably waiting to do a, a nine-disc box set for, like, <laughs> wait for the the rest of these new ones. To come oh, out. well, that's Cute a funny fuck. thing. They can't do a nine-box set. Why? Because they don't own Star Wars. Oh. Oh. Which, the, just the first one or the first, which ones? The first Star Wars. The only, That is the first one. Lucas owned Empire Strikes Back and Return of the Jedi. And only released them and used 20th Century Fox as a distribution. But 20th Century Fox put up the money for Star Wars, so they own Star Wars in perpetuity. Oh. So Disney would have to buy Star Wars, that movie, from mm. 20th Century Fox. Okay. And that's well, probably not going to be wait, cheap. Wait, what? $62 oh, is how much Return shit. of the Jedi costs. Oh. The one. One with the original theatricals on it. And these aren't even the widescreens. I have the widescreen one. Okay. Yeah. So if... 20th Century Fox owns Star Wars. Mm-hmm. Shouldn't they own all the characters? No. They don't own the characters. They hmm. just own the film. Hmm. Oh. Okay. They don't have likeness rights or any of that. They Because they gave that all away to Lucas. He asked for uh, that. Yeah. That was probably the part toy of the merchandise. line and whatnot, exactly. merchandising. And they gave it to him. So he has all the likeness rights and shit. So he would have to sign off. Well, now Disney would have to sign off. On 20th Century Fox releasing a DVD of Star See, Wars no, because I'm, of the likeness rights. Okay, yeah. I understand that, but then I'm surprised they can put like Star Wars, blah blah blah. No, Star Wars: A New Hope, Star Wars: Empire Strikes Back, Star Wars. I don't know exactly how it all works. I was gonna say it's yeah. got to be some legal. But they Disney twist cannot time. release Star Wars on DVD without 20th Century Fox's mm-hmm. permission. Bastard. Huh. Right. Okay, let's well, wrap now her you up. Know. Oh, we keep, gotta do the trivia. Oh, keep those emails coming. Yeah, yeah, we want to hear. Tell me again how I wrong I am about Star Wars. Somebody else or Ghostbusters. I want to hear whoever out there didn't like Deadpool. Send us an email oh, about that. Oh, fuck you. There's not gonna be a person. <laughs> if there's a person, they don't want. We don't yeah. want them as a fan. Yeah, no kidding. Which are we still? Uh, we're we're talking about going to see this together. When. Friday. Friday. You remember yeah. that? Run. We was going to do a comic mm-hmm. run, try to make it back in time for a Deadpool. Are you up for that? Of course. Do you of have course, any, right, any yeah. previous full house discussion <laughs> engagements for that day? No, I think Hell, call <laughs> Chris. I haven't even got to meet him. Yeah, Wait, no, did he, he come along. in? Did, did Chris come out once? I think maybe he did come by one time. One time, yeah. Yeah, no. I, re- so it's like, I remember when he came by. That's the time when we were in the middle of an episode, and you're like, oh, I have to go watch yeah. Welcome to Night Vale. Bye, guys. <laughs> yeah, I got to oh, yeah. go. Yeah. Wait, what? Totally. That's right. I'm like, okay, guess we'll finish this on our own. But <laughs> yeah. it was Welcome to Night Vale, I understand. But, yeah. you know, maybe okay. we just, we tried to get it done before you had to leave, but that didn't happen. Yeah. 
Yeah, good times. Okay, what? That was back in the old, uh, before the flood. Yeah, the old room. Okay, this is a fairly easy one, except for the last one. Which bony hero rides a flaming motorcycle? Ghost Rider. Ghost Rider. <laughs> Who was the Scarlet Witch's husband? Here, I'll let's see if, okay. Quick. Story. Wonder Man. <laughs> no, Vision. Sorry. <laughs> Actually, kind well, of, they're the same I'm, guy. I'm, I'm already smack a bitch up in here. You're kind of the same guy, all right? Because Wonder Man was the Vision, and Vision no, was the Wonder Man. It's no. weird. It's his brain pattern. It's vision. his brain pattern. I'm going to put my foot down on the it Vision. It was the Vision. I'm going to say Vision. <laughs> Which of Captain America's enemies is the French master of kickboxing? Betrock, the Leaper. There, he got one. Who supposedly killed Black Tom? Oh, shit. I'm trying to think when he was supposedly dead. It would be ironic if Juggernaut did it. I'd say probably Banshee, because who else would they get to kill? Yeah, Banshee's the guy that, because they're both Irish, so they hate each other. Well, no, they're cousins. Mm. Oh, yeah, they're related. That's right, I forgot they were related. So their powers don't work. Cyrus related to them, too, isn't she? Who killed Black Tom? So who... This is 90s. I'm going to tell you, it would be ironic if Oh, no, no, shit. Who was it? Didn't he turn into a fucking tree or something at one point? (laughs) Hold up. Swamp Thing Cable. Cable killed dead uh, Black Tom because he shot him in the face and then they replaced pretty much Black Tom. He's one of those useless mutants mm. that he has uh, energy blasts, but he has to have something organic to channel he have, it like, through. like a fucking shillelagh that he shoots. Yeah, he has, he, has, he has a, like a, a wooden cane. Wand. He's not Irish stereotype enough. <laughs> <All right. laughs> he was just he's, a ginger. He's pretty much like... All right, I'm a mutant. I'm going to shoot shit at you. But first, I'm going to get fucking drunk. And then I'm going to grab my shielding and I'm going to blast you in the fucking face. That was okay. The best. Let's see. But I'm going to say cable, if I remember correctly. Okay. All right. Mm. What's the answers? Okay. I don't have this coming. Okay. Ghost Rider, The Vision, Boxer. 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 Oh, I skipped one. I'm sorry. What? <laughs> <laughs> like, wait, what? What did Daredevil's father do oh, for a, a living? Boxer. He was yeah, a boxer. He was a boxer. <laughs> I uh, Bad that. Rock yeah. and. Uh, penance. 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 From uh, Generation oh, X. Oh, that's right. Penance. So I do not recall I don't that recall one. That so that must be a book I did not get. Remember, he, he was like, Penance Stare. Yeah. Like, no no one remembers out of his stomach. Generation like Bear Stare. Yeah. Yeah. That's how 90s Marvel was. There was a book called Generation X. Yeah. I got the first <laughs> issue. It was all like Chromium. Oil and embossed. And you know what's even more sad I got, about like, that? like the first one. You know what's even issues. more sad about that is Image tried to bo- do a book called Gen X. X. And they got sued by Marvel and uh, had to turn it into Gen, Gen 13. 13. So there were two uh, comic book companies trying to do a comic called Gen X. X. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, in the, the 90s. You the, gotta love it. Was it. Skin, no. I think, was introduced. Or skin, was skin uh, Sink. It was skin, skin, Sink. No, no not Marrow. Marrow was in spider Pennant. Um, it um, was Mo- Monet. Monet, M. That's just what yeah, they M. called her. Yeah, but real and Jubilee. Like and yeah. Jubilee. But it turned out, I'm not shitting you, hold up. There was a, a character called Penance that did not speak. And her body was like, I don't know how they explained it. You couldn't touch her body, she would cut you. And she wasn't, even the smooth parts of her body was like some weird mutant, it would cut you. It turns out, and then there was Monet, which was M, who was the rich bitch oh, attitude, yeah. you know, I'm stronger than everybody, blah, blah, blah. I, I, I remember fly. her prower was super Okay, strength. turns out that chick was actually twins who merged into one, and the original Monet was Penance. Really? Yes, Monet was turned into Penance, and then and then uh, Mondo. Oh, I remember Mondo. Mondo, yeah. Mondo was a clone. He kind of looked like the Predator in a way, didn't he? he had, like, no, no, Mondo was the big Hawaiian, Samoan-looking guy. Oh. Who's the guy whose lower jaw was always oh, on Oh, I'm fire? thinking of Mongo. Oh, Chamber. Chamber. Oh, God, that was great. Chamber was, okay, you, you got to have the... Feel sorry for it, guy. Like Kurt Wagner, always blue, and he looks like a demon. This kid had an energy blast. First time he ever used it, blew his face off. Yeah. From from his nose, actually, like from his nose to his stomach, was just a gaping energy that, yeah. well. Yeah. <laughs> so. Yeah, and he had he didn't he wear like a leather jacket or something? Yeah. Kind of was like open. Oh yeah, it always had, and he had to talk through you know. Uh, Telepath. He was a yeah, telepath. He, he could talk. Yeah. Yeah. Now I remember all God, this. God, nineties. That was lucky for him. Yeah, really. That was sucked if he didn't have that. Okay, sign us up. All right. So I uh, send all your complaints about Star Wars or any other movie I talk bad about. 
Yeah. I mean, there will be more. There will be more. <clears throat> yeah, no, no, no one no one chimed in on you know, how Spectre was great. And <laughs> yeah, <laughs> Spectre was Nobody not cares. very good. It was... Oh, no, sorry. Yeah. But I'll tell you what, I have a feeling... I have a feeling that there are going to be DC people who are going to be upset with what I do to Batman v Superman. Oh, yeah. Because I hate Man of Steel. So. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> right. So, yeah. So send those, those complaints to... Uh, I'm contact. trying to be positive, but Zack Snyder's making it real hard. <laughs> Yeah, well, I'll tell you what. A couple months later, I'm going to drop to my knees and suck the dick of Civil War. So, <laughs> <laughs> if that now we'll get you want to see of disappointment, that. <laughs> you want to see disappointment after Star Wars. If Civil War sucks, if like no. Spider Man shows up and's like, I'm radical, flip, flip, yeah. flip, 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 <laughs> and look, I'm gonna, I'm Peter Parker. The world, you don't know who Peter Parker is, but look at me, and I'm gonna put on this Iron Spider costume, and I'll be like, just shoot me, fucking kill me. Right. <laughs> yeah. Hey, who's that? Venom? Oh, Carnage! Yeah. Like they just throw everything yeah. in it. <laughs> <laughs> Green Goblin. In the, in the at the end of the movie, he's like, "I'm Spider Man, and I'm Peter Parker, and Swift Blue. Sinister Six. Oh no! Right. <laughs> God. Spider Gwen, where did you come from? <laughs> no. uh oh, it's Silk's on the way to help me! Yay! <laughs> Spider pig. Oh no! Uh, spider, spider ham. ham. Spider pigs on The Simpsons. Better get my spider, spider cycle and get out of here. Yeah, no shit. Where's the spider mobile? <laughs> spider mobile. Just like ah, ah, uh, uh, dying inside. <laughs> spider <laughs> Hurts man. So much. Spider man. Yeah. <laughs> I got organic web shooters. Flip, flip, flip. <laughs> now Marvel's decided to make Spider Man an R-rated movie. No. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> and I'm gay. <laughs> And black. <laughs> no, why? It's it's ah, hurts. It hurts. Stop. <laughs> I'm a black no Latino uh, transgendered. <laughs> and then I just drop dead in the theater, and like Bob Iger's like, "Yeah, kill that fucker." <laughs> I'm Spider Person. Don't label me. <laughs> and, he, and it was all a plot. To just kill me. <laughs> Turns out he was actually stung by a wasp in this one, too. Like, it wasn't even a spider that bit him. He just likes spiders better. Exactly. Wasps can stick to walls, man. Yeah. Right. I didn't get the wings. I just can stick to walls. And I got the proportionate strength of a wasp, but there was already some chick calling herself the wasp. Right. I don't know about these web shooters. That doesn't make any sense. <laughs> They were supposed to be stinger shooters, but right. I didn't get the formula right. It was all sticky. I can chew up wood <laughs> and like make like paper out of it and build neat nests. You want to come back to my nest? <laughs> yeah. Hey, like don't it. make fun. Spider Man had stingers. I know. Why? I know, why? I know. I know. Like like you know spiders do. Yeah. Exactly like spiders do. I don't. You know, know of course, they're... he also had miniature black holes in his fingertips. I don't know. <laughs> I don't accept that. <laughs> Explain how he could, because you know, because because having the little hooks and hairs on his hand would just be too weird, and you know, yeah, no, he he could mean exactly how a spider works, yeah, right, yeah. But he could. What was it? It was more like a. What was it? Is is at his fingertips? He changed the molecular structure. (laughs) So he gets bitten by a radioactive spider who gives him many black hole powers, (laughs) and they're all over his body, so he could stick to a wall with his back, you know. Through a costume. <laughs> That's also how, I mean, at least they got the physics right of how black holes work. <laughs> I don't think that's how even how black holes work. He should like be like, I'm going to stick to the building, and it should just suck the entire building into his right, fingertips. Yeah. Oh, okay. I guess he I'm would be the know. most powerful person in the world if he had could get control of black holes. <laughs> They would know no villain would fuck with Spider Man because he'd just be like, Dr. Octopus, well, here I open up the black holes in my finger. He sucked that fucker into his hands. Right. Yes, but masturbating's a bitch. <laughs> That's why him and Mary Jane were always having marital problems. She's like, ow, you're ripping my skin off. Right. Sorry, I got black holes all over my body. <laughs> Check it out, baby. I don't see anything. Just a big black hole. Oh, shit. <laughs> <sighs> All right. Yeah, that black hole explanation is bullshit. That's yeah, not what happened. that's really real quick. Stupid. Breaking from Digital Playground, uh, Sherlock, a triple X parody. Oh. <laughs> wait, what? Oh wait, Digital Playground. I oh yeah, Digital not... Playground. I thought you were in like Digital Underground. Right. No. I'm like, oh, the Humpty Dance. Huh? <laughs> well, yeah. I guess it is. It kind of is. 
<laughs> okay, all right. So anyway, so uh, send all those complaints to contact at scramblebrainscast.com. Boy, we got on a tangent. Yep. Uh, yeah. Uh, you're also at Facebook at facebook.com slash scramblebrainscast. You can like us there. You might idea. as well. You're on Facebook all day yeah, anyway, really. aren't you? Don't go on Twitter and ask us to give you a million dollars. Come to Facebook and ask us to give you a billion dollars. 53, yeah. yeah, whatever the fuck you want. Yeah. Yeah, we got all yeah all kinds of stuff. You you like this sort of stuff? Go there. We got news articles every day. But if you ask for a billion dollars from us on Twitter, you can do so at Scramblecast. But do it ironically. Do it ironically is the best I kind of ironically way to do it. Is ironically. or ionically. ionically? That'd be interesting. Ooh, yeah, I don't know. I want to see you You're lose some of the electrons us. or whatever. Mm. Yeah, that's how a TIE fighter works. That's what the TIE stands for, twin ion engine. Yeah. Yeah, okay. yeah you know, that actually, I don't know. Yeah. Ion We're drive is a real guys. thing. No. Mm, anyway, all right. Uh, you know, you could also go to iTunes. iTunes is a good place to go. Subscribe, review. That's great. You should do that. That's the best place to go. Yeah. yeah. Those are the best things to do when you get there. That's probably the only thing you should do. When you get oh, there. yeah. Uh, this doesn't matter. I, iTunes actually today just released, Apple just released, um, like, podcaster tools. Like, oh. they finally acknowledged that podcasting, like, is a significant <laughs> thing, I guess. You mean podcasting tools like us? Uh, no. Ah! no I, yeah. <laughs> Zing us. Uh, no, like, yeah, I don't know. It doesn't matter. It's it's behind the scenes stuff, but it was interesting. I thought that, yeah, now they have a way to like log in and like manage your podcast. Whereas that. before there was like a series of cascading, like butterscotch waterfalls that you had to butterscotch waterfalls. brave, and there was a torch, and you had to stick like a skull thing into these pins and turn it, and then there was a lighthouse. <laughs> It's our time down here. It's yeah. our time. Down here. Goonies never say die. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> anyway, Butter- Butterscotch Waterfall sounds like the greatest band ever. Yeah. <laughs> so uh, you can also go to uh, YouTube. And we got we we're up on the airs. Yeah, you know. No yeah. big whoop. Yeah, get some videos. Can subscribe to that as well. That would really help us out because we need 100. Yeah. And we're not quite there yet no well maybe more of my anti-star wars will get us there right Uh, you know i have been seriously considering setting up a camera if that would work if that's what the kids want do Do we want to do full frontal i can't do this naked anymore i I think that's actually almost like a necessity it's it's really i'll I'll save the uh is your dick bigger bigger than hitler's (laughs) i'm probably totally printing that certificate off when i get home (laughs) Yeah, I don't know if my, uh, I don't know. No, no, no. Okay, anyway. Okay. Uh, you know, or, you know, if you can't find any of those links, like, we made it pretty clear, but if it's like, I just don't know what I'm doing. Help, yeah. I've fallen and I can't get up. Uh, you yeah, just go to www.scramblebrainscast.com and it's all there. Scramblebrainscast.com. It is the place to be. To find links to all this other stuff. Yep. Yes. If you're not there, you're in Squaresville, man. Not Coolsville, yeah. like Squ- us. Daddy O. Square. Because yeah. it's 1953. Yeah. Hey, Annette uh, Fricello, let's go to Sonic. In, you know, where she's doing the square. Yeah, right, square. Right. Doesn't work on radio or podcast. Right. Or, yeah. Jack okay. Rabbit Slims. Yeah. <laughs> All right. All right, anyway. Goodbye, Internet. Till next time, my friends. Be excellent to each other. Gotta be.